Earlier this year, you had a competition to see who could come up with the most creative name for the new mascot. Yep. What was the name you went for? Boomer. Was it? Yeah, I don't know. It was Kanga. <laughs> what happened? Oh, I don't who, know. Entered, who entered it? Yeah, uh, it would have been thousands of entries. And it was the best one? Kanga. Kanga. Oh, I thought it was Boomer. <laughs> <laughs> well, I believe it was Or that just the name of our captain? That's the name of your okay. captain. You get, you get your captain, you and, get your and, captain the mascot, and the mascot okay. mixed up. It's happened. I it think happens. you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got my head elsewhere. Yeah. Well, really? But, I mean, that's important. This is important. <laughs> okay, get the mascot right, everything else will follow, I believe. That's you don't opinion. like Kanga? You don't... I just think... Well, Strawny had, you know, his suggestions. Yeah, Kanga Gaga. Kanga Gaga. Yep. Good one. You know, oh, hip right now. Yeah, it is. And reverse Kanga. Well, reverse Kanga. <laughs> so I didn't even get a reply. I mean, maybe reverse my whip. Kanga. Reverse Kanga would have been great. He could have done the moonwalk and go backwards and everyone's going, Reverse Kanga. Uh, I actually idea. like Reverse Kanga. If I had my way. Oh, you're the president, so yeah, you got the power. I, I'd, I'd say Reverse Kanga would be up there. There you go, Reverse Kanga's in. Kids, get to the. JB, welcome to North Melbourne. Strawny, thanks for having me. Uh, my pleasure, mate. My pleasure. <laughs> and it's nice, you know, a couple of years ago, I don't think I would have even had my 21st down here, but this is a bit, it's a bit, <laughs> it's a bit special now, isn't it? It's schmick. Well, we've been lucky. 15 million bucks can uh, build you a reasonable facility, Strawny, and uh, I, I just, it's, it's nice to see you here because, as you know, we tried to get you down to the club uh, you know, yeah. three years ago, and yeah. um, well, you didn't treat us with a lot of respect then, did you? Well, I didn't have the... Yeah. You know, you, well, spent, you probably spent the 15, if the 15 mil had gone to, I would have been here. Well, well, the good thing about it from our point of view is when you didn't come, we ended up getting Jack Siebel and Ben Cunnington who are elite. So we, well, I think we're happy. Elite? Yeah, I reckon. Okay, well, I mean, Strawny. <laughs> now, do you, before we get onto the serious business, do, yes. do you remember a bloke called Josh Gibson? Yes. He used to play here at North he Melbourne. Did. Now, he, every now and then he would call Strawny and say, let's hit the town. Yep. You know, he was going to hook me up with a pussycat doll. Uh, <laughs> Strawny got excited. And then he went to Hawthorne. Yep. Now he's hanging out with Buddy Franklin. Yes. Doesn't call Strawny anymore. Doesn't call us anymore. Is that right? No. So that doesn't surprise you? No, we don't hear from him. Mm. He's okay. become an eastern suburbs boy. Yeah, as in, I know that means wanker. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, let's go. A few years back, the AFL wanted the North to go to the Gold Coast. Yep. Okay, and you stepped in. <laughs> and you said, we're not... <laughs> going to the Gold Coast. We're in North yes. Melbourne, we're not going to the Gold mm. Coast. How do you feel now that you could have had Gary Ablett? <laughs> you let him slip through your fingers. The Kangas are playing two games in Hobart next year. Yes. Okay, so you, let's get this straight. You chose Hobart over the Gold Coast. <laughs> are you the right person for this job? We are playing two games in Hobart because it's an amazing city with a great venue and 250,000 people who hopefully will all end up being passionate North Melbourne supporters. Um, and it's a really exciting thing. We can't wait to get down there. Yeah. I think we might get you down there, Johnny. You know, get you involved in the club down there. You can be our Hobart ambassador. Hobart ambassador. Yeah. Look out. Got a few cousins down there as well. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't really. Oh, no. Not enough. Why did you make the Pies change their jumper early this year? It seemed a little bit arrogant to Strawny. <laughs> but you did that. Uh, the Magpies have made us change our jumper for a decade. Well, there's a pecking order. So, <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. It's a pecking order. No, I liked it. They, their jumper looked great. Our jumper when we're the home team looks great. I don't think there's a clash. Um, Ed doesn't either. And now neither do the AFL, so it's good. We can sort it out forever. Let's talk betting. Big issue. Mm, you got your serious face on, game face. Yep. What would you do if you discovered one of your players had put a first goal bet on one of his teammates? Oh, we do need to be serious about that because it... It is, That's why I said uh, get your game face. Yeah, no, so exactly. Yeah. Yeah. If our, one of our players was caught doing that, then he should receive uh, the heaviest penalty possible because it is unacceptable. What if the bet was for Lindsay Thomas, just to give him confidence, like to support <laughs> him through his time of need? That would, would that be? Would that be? You let that one slide? No, I wouldn't let that slide because uh, it doesn't matter who it's on. Why do you hate Tyson Goldsack so much? No, I don't. Well, you came out during the week. No, I don't hate Tyson You Goldsack. thought this was going to be a fluffy interview and now it's getting tough. <laughs> no, I don't. In fact, I like him. I know him and I like him. Last week, you guys were playing a team uh, for a final, not for a final spot, but yep. in finals contention, the Bulldogs, 22,000. A couple of weeks before, Eddie had the Legends game, 25,000. What's the missing ingredient? Yeah, well, mate. That... You only got yourself to blame, Strawny. Come down to that. We, we uh, you know, yeah. at the risk of repeating myself, tried in a pre-season to draft you to the club. Yeah. And I think you now realise that's a mistake, don't you? Well, I guess... Because you haven't had a game from, for Collingwood since. Well, I guess Strawny's done everything you could possibly do in the AFL. 
with the possible exception of playing a game. So <laughs> I guess, you know, there may be, who knows, but maybe we can talk in the future. Yeah, like, sort okay. of your best is enormous, yeah. but your worst is appalling. So well, would you agree that that's been a bit of the problem over the, the journey? I wouldn't think so. There's been my injuries. Yeah. You know, um, there's been the, the chafing. Um, I mean, <laughs> I played in one game where the chafing started right up at, you know, the old Jack Scraggers yep. and went all the way down to the cankle. Really? All the way down. But is it, could you tie that back to conditioning? I wouldn't think so. That's, no. just, that's just bad luck. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's just bad luck. <laughs> I mean, I'm interested because Brent Harvey, he's, yes. he's, he's been playing with uh, Boomer Harvey. Yep. He played last week with the world broken... Broken thumb. Broken thumb. Yep. So he knows... You know. What I mean, Shawnee goes through. Yeah, I mean, you, you wouldn't have played yeah. cricket with any injury, so <laughs> when you don't know what it's like well, to play a man's game when you go out there, you know, with an injury. And maybe I should, maybe I should be gender boomer. Yeah, you know, <laughs> yeah, really. I mean, you took over the footy show uh, for Eddie. Yep. Uh, with with Gazline and yeah, and you work at Triple M, uh, yep. like Eddie, and you're the president of an AFL club like Eddie. When are you going to host Hot Seat? <laughs> Uh, Ed you does, have your eye on it. Ed does a very good job yeah. of hosting Hot Seat. <laughs> now, you hired uh, your coach, Brad Scott. That yes. was your decision, yeah? Uh, well, a committee's decision. I wasn't on the committee, but I think they made a great decision. OK. Well, okay, let, let's really scrutinise that, because his winning percentage has been, been at North Melbourne. He's 45%. Yep. Compare that with uh, Geelong, uh, who hired his brother. Yep. Chris Scott, his winning percentage is 90%. Yep. You got the wrong bloke, didn't you? <laughs> I mean, that's... That's half and half, it's 45 to 90%. We uh, employed Brad at a time when our playing list probably wasn't as developed as Geelong's. There are, I mean, they are twins. I mean, you didn't get them confused. There's, <laughs> there's no... I think Chris has got a slightly sort of uh, more punched nose. Right, OK. That's right. how I work yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Now, Wayne Carey recently voted the best player to play the game in the yep. last 25 years. Uh, when will he be welcome back to the North Melbourne Football Club? He's always welcome back. He was at the club during the week. Well, that's a less controversial question than I thought. <laughs> okay. Wayne Shimmerbush, when's yes. he welcome back? He's always here. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> You're just going to go through all the Waynes, Wayne Schwass? Well, not all the Waynes, there's other, other okay. names. Paul Spargo. Paul Spargo. <laughs> yeah. He's selling cars in Aubrey, okay. but he's very welcome. He, he comes regularly, yep. Craig Arcieri. Yeah, I haven't seen Craig Arcieri. I saw Mark Arcieri okay. uh, not long ago. Will Mick Moldhouse be coaching North next year? No. I ask everyone that, don't worry about that. No, he won't. Uh, Lee, uh, Lee Brown uh, said to give you a message. Yes. He said, suffering your jocks. <laughs> Are your jocks suffering because you let him go and he won a premiership at Collingwood? Big Leroy Brown. Yeah. He's a large jocks. His jocks are, have suffered. I've seen them. Uh, he's sort of, for, for an elite athlete, got yeah. quite a big ass. Oh, massive. Hasn't he? Sometimes I see him out there. Say, What's one, one of the canteen mums have run onto the ground? Seriously, he's not, he's not in shape. Now, Deborah Brown early this year called Boomer Harvey greedy. Yep. What would you say to Dermy if he was right here right now to his face? Get stuffed. Yeah. Oh, I wouldn't, because he's a lot stronger than I am. Okay. Well, okay, I'll change the question. What would you say to Dirk <laughs> Burrard if he wasn't here and you could say something behind his back? Yeah, get stuffed. Get stuffed. I can say that now. Yeah. But make... if he's here, he would smash me, and yeah. you too. No, nah, not me. Because he's an aggressive, oh. big, strong man. Well, he's punching you, I'd probably run out. Would you? Yeah. <laughs> but if he's not here, you can say anything. You can make jokes about his hair. Yeah, you can. He's got funny hair. He has he? skinny legs. Yeah, he's got this mullet thing going. Yeah. yeah skinny legs. Yeah. He's, he's sort of red fast cars and. Red head that, that blondes it. Yeah, he Which is, I, yeah. I suspect you are too. No, this is all natural. No, I think you might have a bit of red there too, have you? Well, I've had a little bit of red over the years, but you know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you walked into that, Shawnee. Yeah, no, I did. That was like an open door no, that you just walked I through. Did. The phone's ringing already. Yeah, look at it. There Man. we go, there we go. JB, welcome to North Melbourne. Strawny, thanks for having me. Uh, my pleasure, mate. My pleasure. <laughs> and it's nice, you know. A couple of years ago, I don't think I would have even had my twenty-first down here. But this is a bit, this is a bit, <laughs> it's a bit special now, isn't it? It's Mick. Well, we've been lucky. Fifteen million bucks can uh, build you a reasonable facility, Strawny. Uh, okay, let's go. A few years back, the AFL wanted the North to go to the Gold Coast. Yep. Okay, and you stepped in. <laughs> and you said, we're not going <laughs> to the Gold Coast. We're in North yes. Melbourne. We're not going to the Gold mm. Coast. How do you feel now that you could have had Gary Ablett? <laughs> you let him slip through your fingers. That was, you know, Gary Ablett playing for North. Yeah. Well, I think that most people, when they say you didn't go to the Gold Coast, you walked away from 100 million bucks. Yeah. I love the way Strawny took it. You didn't go to the Gold Coast, so you haven't got Gary Ablett. Yeah, uh, Lee Brown get, uh, said to give you a message. Yes. To suffer in your jocks. <laughs> Are your jocks suffering because you let him go and he won a premiership at Collingwood? Big Leroy Brown. Yeah. Thank Where's God your footy at, Strawny? Struggling. I mean, well, I, I liked I liked the the other night, yeah. but you can't be a one game player. I guess Strawny's done everything you could possibly do in the AFL, with the possible exception of playing a game. So <laughs> I 
I would say, Strawny, that the, the difference between the best and your worst is cavernous. That's probably been the problem. You know, I mean, when, you, when you're on, you're on, but when okay, you're bad, right, you're not getting anywhere near it. Choose your words very carefully. What does cavernous mean? <laughs> <laughs> sort of like the Grand Canyon, you know, you sort okay. of your best is enormous, yeah. but your worst is appalling. So, well, would you agree that that's been a bit of the problem over the, the journey? I wouldn't think so. There's been my injuries, yeah. you know. Um, there's been the chafing. Um, I mean, I played <laughs> in one game where the chafing started right up at you know the old Jake Scragers yep. and went all the way down to the cable, really? all the way down. But is it? Could you tie that back to conditioning? I wouldn't think so. It's no, that's just bad luck. Oh, okay. Yeah.